What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to your V2.6.0 complete breakdown. Everything's going to be covered in this except gameplay. So we are going to have a second part of this video where it just covers gameplay because there's a lot to get through. There's a lot to talk about. We have a trailer to look at as well. As you can see here, the server maintenance is still underway. So that'll be ongoing for another couple of minutes depending on when this video uploads. So it should be, yeah, it should be about 10 minutes left um, in the maintenance and we will be streaming one hour after the server maintenance ends. We'll be streaming at around 12 p.m. UK time. So hope to see you guys in the live stream for some banter as we test out co-op, right? So we do have a trailer here we're going to get over and have a look at. Um, so this is the official trailer that they released here. Let me just turn this down a little bit, this audio in case it's too loud. Um, but we do have new Showtime cards, right? So this is obviously going to be new cards every Thursday, every Monday. We get all that. We know, we understand, right? We have Visionary Pass, and today we have Edged Crossing. So Visionary Pass will probably come, you know, next week or whatever, or maybe later on in the season. You've got Trent, you've got Shaw, and I think you've got Trippier as well. Um, so this, to me, looks very like Stunning uh, Cross. Uh, very like it. So maybe they've automated Stunning Cross. We've yet to see. I, I, I Look... I love wing play, so this is going to suit me if wing play is more prominent. We do have a couple of gameplay changes, which we will get into as well. Um, but that's going to be something interesting to keep an eye on. Anything that improves the wing play and adds, you know, a different variety to the breakdown of play is going to be important for me. We've also got two selections of legend player selections, or cards, or whatever way you want to call it. We've got a Japanese legend epic uh, selection. Um, Stoikovic, uh, Kagawa, and Sangerson, I think, is the three. And then you've got Totti, Cannavaro, and Pirlo, which we'll get into in a second, right? So there's a good lot of players coming, as we always see, at this stage in the game. Um, and every Thursday, and obviously with a new season kicking off, there's always going to be new nominating contracts, there's going to be new Player of the Weeks, so there's going to be new selections of cards um, all the time. So there you can see Cannavaro. I would love Cannavaro. Whether I'm going to spin from or not is going to be up for debate. We will see, because I would love Cannavaro or Pirlo or Totti. I'd love the three of those because I don't have them. Never had them before, except in PES 2021. So it would be nice to use them, especially with co-op, you know, to have a couple of different players. Um, and we'll get into co-op in a second. So I'm just going to let this player, uh, this trailer play out because it does introduce one of the biggest additions to V2.6, uh, which is reset player progression, which we'll get into just now, okay? So that's going to be the biggie for V2.6 if you're not interested in co-op. Obviously for me and for a lot of you guys, co-op will probably be the big one here, okay? We also have new fan choice players, probably going to get new TOTS uh, or, you know, eFootball's equivalent or alternative to TOTS. Now this one, lads, this reset player progression, okay? This is something that has been requested for a long time, and I know that they were working on it, um, and I'm actually glad that it's finally here, because I made a lot of mistakes when I was first playing uh, and training my players, literally within the first, I'd say within the first two or three days of training players, I kind of completely forgot about team playstyle proficiency on some of my overpowered legends like Romario, Vieira, um, and it meant that I couldn't change my players uh, until now, which is brilliant, right? So we do actually get confirmation here from the screen. It is going to cost 100,000 GP to reset the player progression, okay? Now we will get into a little nugget of information on the official website after this video as well, but look, it's 100,000 GP, and basically all you do is you keep all your XP, you keep everything that all your trainers that you've put into the player. Um, so if you've, you know, trained up, say the likes of Bruno Fernandez, um, Fernandez is going to be uh, a 90 overall attack and midfielder. It's not like you lose all your trainers, you need to retrain him. You literally just, you just reset the points that you've input into that player. So I think it's the best possible solution for it. I know there was rumors that they would, um, they would have the progression points be tied to trainers and you get the trainers back. They've streamlined it and I think it's the, the best way to go, right? Whether they change it in the future, that's going to be something to take a look at. But you can see here that Bruno's got his 50 points still there. He doesn't start back at zero and you need to give him the trainers again. So you don't lose the trainers. I know a lot of people were saying that and again, fake clickbait sort of stuff. But it is basically just going to be a like for like. You reset as if you've never trained the players. You've given him all the XP, but you've never actually input into the stats. So you can see there with Bruno, that's the way it's going to be. And then you can just train him as normal, okay? So for this, I think that's a big thing, um, especially for people that have not, have been playing the game for a long time, such as myself. And you might have made a mistake with a player. You might want to train a player a different way to your play style. They also talk about a couple of quality of life changes and gameplay changes, more substitutions available here for you and that you're able to bring in. And look, they also talk about new models and the stadium here and new player models and the way they look. 
Garnacho's in here. We'll take a look at him in a second, which I think is quite decent. Um, and look, lads, the game at the moment, it's not the most stunning looking game graphically, obviously with the crowd, the colors, the lighting. Um, you know, the presentation wise obviously needs a bit of work, but I do think that the next big update, whether that's V3.0 or whether it is that rolls into eFootball 2024 or they're both the same thing. Um, I do think that there is hope here. I mean, when you see some of the players here and the lighting and stuff, and obviously this video is from Twitter, so it's compressed to hell. Um, but I do like some of the player models. I do like the jerseys. All that sort of stuff is small, trivial stuff to a lot of people that don't really care about any of this stuff. But for someone like me who loves edit mode, when it eventually does come or however it eventually comes, um, it is a big thing to have, you know, the stitching in the kits and all that. It's just little kind of weird, like, small stuff, right? Um, the player models and all that obviously are going to improve with the graphics and the graphics do need a bit of an improvement, okay? So we're going to end it at that, lads, and we're going to pop over to the official website. All right, so we're over here and we're going to just take a quick look. We do have a new match pass. We will get into that when the servers come back online. They talk about this campaign here. So they talk about that it is going to last from the 11th to the 5th, which we knew, to the 3rd of August, which we knew. They talk about the special campaign and pretty much covered everything in that trailer. Updated match pass, the planned special player list, including, um, you know, the Showtime edged crossing guys. You get a free Showtime chance or, yeah, Showtime chance, chance deal there. Um, they're also going to be talking about MVP, promising young players. They're talking about a challenge event in which you can earn a tournament exclusive strip as a reward that ties in with the eFootball Championship Pro knockout stage. I like a lot of that stuff, man. There's a lot of stuff coming um, like that that I think are, are going to be good. Um, but that's kind of like the main thing that they covered in the trailer, right? So I want to talk about the co-op. That's the big thing for me. Now, we will get into... Um, we will get into the gameplay specific stuff in a different video because it's going to be a 30 minute video otherwise. But the co-op stuff for me is, is the big part. We've already covered the player uh, reset progression. The co-op one is a beta test. They talk about a game mode with co-op um, that you where you'll be able to play matches with multiple friends up to three versus three. Only friend matches will be made available for this beta test, okay? So friend match only, no division modes, no nothing like that. You can't play with real teams. Um, it's going to be your dream team, and you go into friend match, you create a room, and then it's a, it's a co-op match room, right? And this is to access the online performance, and it's going to be run until the 22nd of June. Let's see what happens after that. Obviously, you'd be expecting then rankings to come, events, challenges, stuff to tie in with that. Um, it says you will not be able to select the football dream team match, friend match, create co-op match room outside the beta testing period, and unexpected errors may occur. It might change without further notice. And it says that the AI CPU matches is still a thing. So in PES 2021, one of the biggest frustrations was, you know, I could be playing with two friends and it could have a, tree, a team of three, and you would come up against a... Um, you know, you come up against one player playing with two AIs and the AIs might be like godlike. So um, that's still there. Let's see whether they change that or not. Um, as I said, I will go through all of the gameplay stuff in a separate video because there's a lot to get through. They talk about basically everything. They talk about additional um, features here, but then towards the end, um, they talk about everything that we've covered in the trailer there including adding league as a player filter option when you're searching for players updates and additions to team data strips were apl applicable everything there and then they talk about gameplay fixes and adjustments such as passing traps defense there's like there's multiple pages on it right so um if you see there we do have a second page somewhere here uh where is it yeah, here. So like they talk about the AI, there's a lot of stuff to get through there. So we want to go through that in a bit more details and I'll give you a couple of my thoughts on where the game plays at because I'm obviously playing a lot of the game from a testing point of view. Um, so we'll get into that in a separate video because otherwise this video is going to be like 25 minutes. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Obviously, we do have the maintenance extended as well for another maybe 10 minutes by the time this video goes live. Um, so yeah, I mean, look, obviously we will be streaming in about an hour's time. Make sure you check it out. We will have a big stream. Uh, we'll be doing co-op. We'll be doing reset and player progression. We'll be testing everything, opening some coins, some packs, everything like that. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So that is it for me. I will be back quite soon. We will also have, um, it says here, right? Progression points allocation research requires GP. We already know that's going to cost a hundred thousand. However, a trial period is set until the 28th of the 9th. So it's not going to cost you um, to do that GP thing that we saw in the trailer until the 28th of September. So that 28th of the 9th, 
that could be a very telling date as well, which we'll get into in the live stream as well. And I'll give you a couple of nuggets of information that I, that I kind of know. But yeah, the progression points allocation reset requires GP, uh, but you don't need to worry about that until September. So that's nice. That is actually... That is big because it gives people a chance to try it out. But anyway, that is it for me. I will be back quite soon. Let's don't forget to subscribe as we continue to grow here. If you're looking for daily eFootball content and live streams every two to three times a week, um, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, we will be back quite soon. Peace.